Coming up on the Paranormal After Party. And how often do those bells go off? They go off with quite a bit. Your mother has a sexy accent. <laughs> <laughs> like Joan Collins. So we're in Delaware, investigating historic Newcastle. I didn't really get the time to show you around last week, so here goes. William Penn actually walked these streets. This is history. This is a place where people can actually walk on the same surfaces that historical figures have been here. It's not something that has been put together and cobbled together. It's the real thing. Dana with Newcastle, where a lot of the museums, the homes, the gardens are open. There's reenactors in town. There's, uh, all kinds of things going on, including carriage rides. And uh, we have quite a few tourists come in on that day, and you'll find many of the citizens uh, also dressed in colonial period. And uh, when Peter Stuyvesant uh, heard of this, he uh, came down with some troops and recaptured. And how often do those bells go off? They go off in quite a bit. Interview with Ken, history, take two. We try to keep everything very much uh, the way it was. Uh, to preserve the history in town. Uh, a lot of the buildings here are uh, original. Legend has it that Penn once stayed in this building now owned by Esther and Matt Lovely. It currently serves as a coffee and antique shop and an artisan studio. It's now fittingly referred to as Penn's Place. We are very invested in the town and wanting to see growth uh, in the town and the only interest on this property was residential and so we didn't want to see that happen so we knew that we wanted it to be a commercial building. And then one day it was really almost like visionary. I was stopped dead in my tracks and I just said I know that this place can be a coffee shop and I saw it like in a dream and we went through and it was all laid out and end of story. <laughs> Just before we opened the coffee shop <laughs> part, she was in tears saying, oh I was, my God, what, do we do? What, what have I gotten this into? What I are we going to do? What I if did. this doesn't work? What if... And one evening I was here by myself, and I just remember that feeling, the hair going up on the back of my neck, and I wasn't alone. And that was the first time that I went, wow. Um, so that was probably, I'm going to say January or February. We purchased the building in November, so it was like January, February, when I first felt that there was, I wasn't alone. The really definitive time was, I'm a trained opera singer. So I was checking out the acoustics in the back because there was no, <laughs> it's really ringing in there. And literally a white, like, light or whatever you want to call it came out of the fire alarm thing and hit me on the chest and this, this message i received was to stop that um it, and it was like a force it was like like getting pushed a little bit that's what i felt i thought it was my husband walking up because it was pretty dark with a flashlight i thought that's what it was so that's what my mind was processing and just as i came to that realization my husband came through the front door so i was like oh that <laughs> That's not gonna work. She's a little shaken, uh, and and I I believe her totally. I, I had no doubt that that's that's probably what was going on. One of our artists, who's actually a nurse, um, and had been with us probably about a year, and hadn't really recounted anything extraordinary. And she was upstairs working with some clay things, and I think in the building pretty much by herself, perhaps aside from people who were in the coffee house. 
and she locked up and saw somebody coming upstairs and thought it was a visitor, got up to greet them and then realized that the clothing that they were wearing was not appropriate. Um, it was much more 16th, 17th century and she um, stood up and hesitated and then when she did, just disappeared. Speaking of not appropriate. Okay, thanks very much. Your mother has a sexy accent. <laughs> like Joan Collins. <laughs> Before we get to Penn's place, we have to finish up the key house. EVP session upstairs. Anthony Flip, Eric, and Matt. Who's playing with the lights up here? Move into a different room. Was this your room at one time? The bells are chiming. How many globes are in this room? Can you see them? I'll play back, see if we have anything in any of the rooms that we can go back. Move into a different room. Yeah. Move into a different room. Wow. That's a whole sentence. That, that was the girls talking right there before we yelled out, but no, listen. Was this your room at one time? Their room? Uh, yeah. There's an audible syllable and then it sounds like it says their room. Was this your room at one time? Their room. We got something in here though, so let's do another quick session there. EVP session two, second floor. Flipping Ava and Eric. In the office. In the office. Do you stay in certain rooms or are you able to walk all through the house, the upstairs? In the house for that matter? Somebody's coming? that? That was. Uh, no, before that, that, that was like, like a, a moment. child's giggle or laugh or. There. Hold on. There. Hold on. There. Hold on. This the hole is the most active. That's where you're getting the most. That's where I was touched earlier. That's where I was touched earlier. That's where I was touched earlier. Are you trying to greet us or are you trying to scare us out? Are you trying to greet us or are you trying to scare us out? Are you trying to greet us or are you trying to scare us out? If you make a big noise, we can come find you. What was that again? I didn't it sounds know. Like it, it's down here, though. Yeah. That's why I keep thinking it's somebody's stomach. It's like, oh, and, I, and nobody's moving. You didn't want me to leave this room before, and now I'm not going to come in. See, now, if it was stomachs, we'd still be here in stomachs. Right. There's nothing over here. No. Let's go back to the, the center. Can you come over here and talk to me, please? Yeah, I might have to end this. We're going to get past the stomach noise. I just want to hear it real quick. Are you trying to greet us or are you trying to scare us out? <laughs> what was that? Are you trying to greet us or are you trying to scare us out? Oh, wow. Just know something out. Are you trying to greet us or are you trying to scare us out? 
No, get out. No, this is no want him out. Oh, okay. Are you trying to greet us or are you trying to scare us out? Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Who else is in this room? Hi, this is Tex Stram for SunsetRanches.net. I'm here to help you get started on your journey to land ownership and to share with you the six most important tips when looking at buying land. Tip number one, purpose of land. So what is your goal for the land investment? Recreation, livestock, or even home building? When looking at land purchase, it's important you know what you want to do with it now and in the future. Some land won't let you build on it. Others won't let you hunt, camp, or ride motorcycles. All of the land we offer on sunsetranches.net let you do all the above and more. Tip number two, location and roads. Location is, as they say, everything. Is it close to a highway or major city? Some internet land sellers give you a great price, but their land has no road access or is in a remote area not close to any major city. All of the property SunsetRanches.net offers is close to El Paso, Texas, and has great highway and road access. Tip number three, power and waste. It's critical to understand what options are offered for power and waste disposal, especially if you intend to build on your property. Are there any type of easements offered for power to be established or expanded? Are solar and wind power available to build on your property? And are septic systems allowed? All of the tracks sold by SunsetRanches.net allow building of solar, wind, and septic systems and have easements for power expansion. Well, that's the end of part one. Make sure to watch part two and start your way to land ownership. We make it easy for you to get started. So start your land ownership adventure today. Eileen, you want to start with the questions? Like, is anybody here? Eileen, who, who was in this room? There used to be a lady, that I don't know her name, who used to live here, and she used to change in this closet all the time. And that closet's very little. Were there ever any children in this room before, staying in this room before you were here? There were seven children that lived in the house oh, previously. Wow. And, um, and they lived in the four rooms up here. Oh, wow. Previously, and, um, and they lived in the four rooms up here. Is there anybody with us right now who would like to chat? It's all the girls up here. Do you like the dollhouses? Can you touch one of us now? Um, yeah. It's not a brush. It's like someone has their hand on my back and is just holding it there. I that same tingly feeling I got in my hands when I was downstairs yeah. is now on my back. Wow. I'm not getting touched at it's all. It's just staying there. It's not going anywhere. So who's touching Natalie's back? Oh. Now they're touching my arm. Are you a child? It feels like it. Because either that or they're kneeling because they're... It's got a cold breeze come through. And they brush right by us. I don't know where it came from. I'm tingling all the way down my arm and my back now. I feel like it has something to do with the dollhouse that's behind me. Do you like to play with the dollhouse here? Like the tingling is gone now. Yeah, it got warm again. Did we scare you away? The person, the person oh, that puts your hand on my back and my arm, what is your name? Did you hear that? Sound like a, a kid? Sounded like a voice, but now it sounded like it was coming from over there. Was there a little boy in this room? some point? One of the children? Um, it almost sounded like a little boy's yeah. voice. Hmm. Did silent. you leave us? It got quiet. We want to talk to you. Whoever was here is gone now. 
Yeah, we're not getting anything so far. With the key house wrapped up, Hold it's on, a yeah, short walk those. over to Penn's place for phase two of investigating. Some of my employees sometimes, you know, can feel a little anxious because they've been here and they have heard walking around the dining room table next where they've heard noises in the basement. So, um... Well, what I thought was interesting one time is we had someone unsolicited just came to visit the yeah, coffee shop and retail shops. Uh, and she was walking through, and she came. She came downstairs to the coffee shop, and she mentioned to us, "Oh, by the way, I'm a medium, and you have two spirits in the break room." <laughs> and they, they seem to be okay with what's going on, just so you know. But I just want to let you know that they they're give there. us the two thumbs up, but right. they're there, kind of there. Okay, we're here. We have me, we have Ala, Sammy, Esther, Matt, Matt. Jim, and Matt. Um, what we're gonna do? We've been pumping this room. A little. Uh, energy, see if we can get them singing. Uh, we're going to do a little ghost box, but first we're going to play the music, but we're going to use the energy speaker. Okay, so now they should hear it, and we know. Can you tell me who's in the room with us tonight? Are you able to hear the music? Is it moving? Is there any reason why you shut this off? Yeah, I, I just do it to fill the room. Did you like this box in here or do you want me to take it out? The box is on. What color is the light on the box? I'm just going to turn this up a little bit. Is it better for you with the box on? Can you sing some more? Okay. Oh, wow. See that? Wow. Do you like when Esther sings in here? Who else is in this room? Who are the people in this room that you see here all the time? Here. Here. Are you something? I said. Here. I still hear them singing. Right. Deep in the background. Yeah. That's how it was when they taped it. It was in the background. <laughs> On, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's a spirit down here that like like it with the lights on too. Bring that flashlight on. Hey. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Will you say Esther's name if she sings to you? If you say please, she might sing. 
Please. Go ahead. Deep, please. I was like, very like him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get a touch on my knee. My hands are right here. Under the table. Are you happy about everyone that's in this building every day? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Please sing for us again. The lady who likes to sing the opera. You heard it? You have a very beautiful voice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's definitely a few men there. Because one the male voice said, where is she? Right before the thank you. Can you tell us the name of the woman that's singing? <laughs> Jess. Can you say that one more time, please? Say 
match. So that's the first looks like that. This still haven't heard Sammy. Can you tell us where one earring is? Yes. I heard bracelet. Bracelet? That just sound like. Maybe bracelets? Bracelet. There's bracelets, yeah. Where in the break room is the earring? Why do you take them? Are you just having fun? Sure. Sure. Did you end up missing like one pair or one pair? One. Yeah, it's like socks and a dryer. Wow. Do you know how hard it is to sell one earring? <laughs> to a pirate. Can you tell us if there are any children in this building at all? Is it a little boy or a little girl? Is Sarah in the building tonight? What room is Sarah in? Moth. Oh my god. <laughs> Say Who should we send up there to, to talk to her? Did you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> you can come too, but which of us should go up? Sitting. Sitting. How about you touch the person that you want to go upstairs? We're going to put our hands out and tap one of us. Give me a name. We're going to send one person up to that room. Give me a name of who you want to be. No. 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 Who's Bill? I agree. Something. Is Bill one of the spirits in here? Bring Sarah down. Would she like to come down? Stop. Oh, I'm all the way down. I'm going to turn off the bottom. Turn that off, see if they say anything. 